Hey, what's up, guys? It's Wittig here with the Q&A. Now, I apologize. I'm a bit behind. These questions were turned in a few weeks ago. It's just been a crazy start of this new year. A lot of exciting things are in the works. Thanks for following me. Thanks for your support. Let's get to these questions. Okay, the first question is by my buddy Ancor, and he asks, how do I deal with clients who cannot get the correct form even after you explain it to them a hundred times? Well, they might get a slap across the face. Actually, they get the good form. I teach it to them. I, w I work on it until they have it right. Now, if we get to an exercise and we just are having problems and it's taking up too much time in their session, hey, I'll switch gears and go to a different exercise. There's hundreds of them out there. There's always something we can change to. Um, not a big problem normally for me. Um, he also asked if enzyme tablets can be taken regularly or just in case of indigestion. Well, I would say with any supplement, um, use as directed. See what the label says and use it that way. I would think you can take them all the time so you do not get indigestion, but again, just check out the label. Now, my buddy Justin Coleman asked, what is your purpose when it comes to working out? Bodybuilding or going for the Mr. Olympia? Well, definitely not that. I'm uh, 40 years old and just not near that big. And actually, you know what? I do this for health first. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to be active into old age. I want to be a good influence on my kids. Hey, I want to be an uh, inspiration, influence on all you guys too. So for me, it's health. Then, hey, I don't mind looking, looking good at 40, you know, having some muscles. Strength is kind of just secondary to me. You know, if I get strength while being healthy and looking good, that's cool too. So that's answered that question. My next question comes from Eraz Ahmed. And he has uh, a bunch of stats here about where his current body fat is. He's working out a lot. His goal is to reduce body fat and get a great physique. Now he's talking about thinking about cutting down to 800 calorie diet, but don't know what to eat. And he's telling me about his supplements he's taking. Please, um, he wants to get my advice on what diet to suggest. And he's asking about keto and how effective it is. Sorry I had to summarize that. It was a big, long question. Well, first of all, 800 calories is crazy. That's way too low. You're going to mess up your metabolism doing that unless you're like three and a half feet tall and weigh 80 pounds. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you're not. You're probably a normal man. It says 85 kilograms. So yeah, that's way too low. You're going to, you're going to shut down and go to sleep and never wake up again. Um, you need to eat, definitely eat more than that to uh, reduce your body fat. You want to keep your metabolism healthy. The goal is to eat as much as possible while losing weight. That's what you need to do. Um, you do need some more consultation. It's kind of hard for me to give you exactly what to eat and how much without knowing you, without knowing what you look like and, and just everything about your situation. You can shoot me an email though at michael at wittigworks.com and we can talk about it and I'll try to help you the best I can. But 800 calories is way too low. You need to be eating more than that. Generally higher protein, moderate carbs, and you may drop the carbs over time, but don't start off with no carbs. Moderate carbs and low fats, okay? Try that. Um, let's see. Next question is by Karina Espinoza. It says, I just finished a 12-week transformation and started my powerlifting program to prep for a meet, and I feel like I lost strength instead of gaining. Is this normal? feel like I've gone backwards instead of forward. Well, if you did a 12-week transformation, those type of programs are generally focused on quick reducing body fat and transforming your physique to a leaner physique. A lot of times they have nothing to do with strength training. So um, especially if it had you eating less, doing lots of cardio, interval cardio, doing supersets and giant sets, your strength is not going to increase. It may decrease a little bit, um, which is fairly typical when people are cutting. Now, I personally try to lift heavy while cutting. Even, you know, weeks before a, a competition, I may do a few lifts real heavy still because I like to try to keep my strength. So to keep your strength while cutting, you have to be strategic about it and make sure to include some heavier rep ranges in your sets when you're doing that, okay? So that is normal, though, when you're doing a transformation. So you're going to have to switch gears and get back into that strength training to get that strength back so you can outlift all them people. Get some trophies, okay? Last few questions. Rad Hay, Tawari. Man, I'm so sorry I can't pronounce that, but I'm doing my best. I still like you. Okay, he's asking, my question would be your thoughts on the ketogenic diet, pros and cons, ketosis, recommendations. 
I'm not a, personally a big fan of the keto diet. I like to get proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. I feel healthier and stronger that way. I can lose body fat with all three of those nutrients. I can gain muscle with all three of those. Um, so I'm not a big fan of any diet that cuts any one of the three macronutrients this out completely. Lowering carbs, that's one thing, but just having no carbs and real super high fats and proteins, I'm just personally not a big fan of it. I feel like um, doing the ketosis, it, it does work. I know friends that have done it, and they've lost body fat doing that, but a lot of times they'll lose some muscle too because they're not doing it right. Um, I don't know. I would say don't do that unless you're in desperate need, nothing else is working, or you have like a, a timeline, like you need to lose X amount of weight by a specific date because of some kind of test or some event. Otherwise, I would just go a safer route. He's also asking... Red Hay, my buddy Red Hay, he's asking my thoughts on the Insanity Hit Program series. Um, what do I think of it? You know what? Obviously, it must be a great program. Um, tons of people have bought it. It's on TV. It's it's helped transform a lot of people. I think for I think it works really good for a general type of person though. But there's some people out here and over here that's not going to work so well because it's a general. I don't want to say generic but a program that they expect everybody to do. Well, everybody's not the same. Some people's body works differently. Some people have injuries, and some of those exercises they just cannot do, or they may injure themselves even more while doing them. So it just, to me, depends on where you're at and how healthy you are, and if you're injury-free, um, it may work great for you. But if you need a very specific personal type training, like a lot of people, to work around disabilities, pains, aches, or just your general condition, you may want to work with a, a personal trainer like me or the one in your area. Okay, Andy Darlington asks, what is the best macronutrient ratio when cutting? Hey, my arm's looking pretty big in this video. Oh, sorry, Andy. Okay, best macronutrient ratio when cutting. Well, it really depends on how you're eating now, what kind of exercise you're doing, you know, your, your body stats. But here's the general numbers that I like to start people with. Fairly high protein, about 1.5 grams per pound of body weight. Sometimes lower if they're not used to eating higher protein, but no less than 1 gram per pound of body weight. But I generally do them to 1.5. Um, carbohydrates, again, it depends on how much they're eating at the time. I'll generally start them off at about 1 gram per pound of body weight. Um, and then very low fat, about 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. I'll typically start someone around that area, see how they respond. Um, if they start losing weight, great, we'll hold that until they stall, and then I might lower carbs just a little bit, and then see how it goes. Um, so you gotta see how the individual responds, but that's what my recommendations. That's all the questions for this week. Again, I apologize for taking so long to get to these ones. It's been busy. Hope you're all having a great week. I'll do another Q&A soon, so start thinking of all them questions. Ah, have a good day.